the United States has been left utterly and completely shocked by Saudi Arabia and Iran. Amidst the global attention focused on events such as the U.S. presidential election, a significant geopolitical development has emerged in the Middle East. Iran and Saudi Arabia, two long-standing rivals, have announced plans to hold joint naval exercises in the Red Sea. This unexpected move signals a potential shift in the dynamics of the region. If you are new to our channel, please leave a like as well as a sub so you never miss another video. The announcement was made by the Iranian Navy commander, Rear Admiral Sharam Irani, who confirmed that Saudi Arabia has proposed the joint naval drills. This initiative is noteworthy given the traditionally strong alliance between Saudi Arabia and the United States, which has often been viewed as a counterweight to Iran's regional influence. Adding to the intrigue is a recent visit by a prominent Saudi general to Iran, where he met with his Iranian counterpart to discuss potential military collaborations. This meeting suggests that the proposed naval exercises could be the harbinger of a broader military relationship between the two nations. Last week, Saudi Arabia's chief of staff, Lt. Gen. Fayyad bin Ahmad al rowe arrived in Tehran for discussions with Major Gen. Mohammad Hossein Bakari. During their meeting, Gen. Bakari emphasized the importance of cooperation and invited the Saudi naval forces to participate in future Iranian-led drills. Before delving deeper into the strategic implications of this potential Iran-Saudi military cooperation, it is essential to highlight some other significant global developments that have unfolded in recent times. The United States has authorized Ukraine to use long-range missiles to strike targets within Russian territory, marking a major policy shift. This move comes amidst intensified Russian attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure and reports of North Korean support for Moscow. While Ukraine now has the capability to target critical military and energy sites in Russia, the Kremlin has warned of potential escalations in response. In contrast, Germany remains steadfast in its refusal to provide Ukraine with long-range missiles, citing concerns over escalation, despite international pressure. These divergent approaches underscore the evolving dynamics of global power and the strategic complexities surrounding military aid and advanced technology. Elsewhere, India has successfully tested a long-range hypersonic missile, capable of speeds exceeding Mach 5 and a range of over 1,500 kilometers. This milestone positions India among a select group of nations with advanced hypersonic technology, further enhancing its strategic capabilities. Returning to the emerging news about Iran and Saudi Arabia, it is crucial to examine the historical relationship between these two nations the recent diplomatic progress facilitated by China's mediation, and the potential impact of this unprecedented military collaboration on the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. Formal diplomatic relations between Iran and Saudi Arabia were established on August 24, 1929, with the signing of a friendship treaty in Jeddah. In the ensuing decades, their interactions were largely cordial, emphasizing regional stability and peace. In the 1960s, collaboration between the two nations intensified, with King Faisal of Saudi Arabia and Iran's Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi championing Islamic unity, leading to the creation of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation OIC, in 1969. Additionally, both countries were founding members of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries OPEC, in 1960, aimed at stabilizing oil markets and coordinating petroleum policies. The 1968 Boundary Delimitation Agreement further exemplified their cooperative efforts, as they sought to address border issues and maintain a peaceful coexistence. The 1979 Iranian Revolution marked a significant turning point, introducing ideological differences that strained relations between Iran and Saudi Arabia. The establishment of the Islamic Republic in Iran led to tensions particularly over Iran's revolutionary aspirations and its stance towards regional monarchies. During the 1980-1988 Iran-Iraq War, Saudi Arabia provided substantial financial support to Iraq, reportedly applying $1 billion per month in aid. This assistance intensified the rivalry between Iran and Saudi Arabia as they vied for leadership in the Muslim world. Iran sought to export its revolutionary model, while Saudi Arabia aimed to expand its Wahhabi influence. The competition extended to proxy conflicts across the Middle East, 
with both nations supporting opposing factions in regional disputes. A notable incident occurred during the 1987 Hajj pilgrimage, when clashes between Iranian pilgrims and Saudi security forces resulted in the deaths of over 400 people, including more than 200 Iranians. This tragedy deepened hostilities and led to the severance of diplomatic ties between the two countries in 1988. In the 1990s, Iran and Saudi Arabia undertook significant diplomatic efforts to mend their strained relationship. A pivotal moment occurred in June 1990, when a devastating earthquake struck northern Iran, resulting in approximately 40,000 fatalities. In response, Saudi Arabia extended humanitarian aid to Iran, marking a crucial step toward reconciliation. This gesture facilitated the restoration of diplomatic ties in 1991. Subsequently, under President Mohammad Khatami's administration, Iran emphasized regional cooperation and sought to improve relations with neighboring countries. A landmark event in this diplomatic thaw was President Khatami's visit to Saudi Arabia in May 1999, the first by an Iranian president since the 1979 Islamic Revolution. During this visit, Khatami met with King Fahd and Crown Prince Abdullah, discussing various issues, including regional security and economic collaboration. The U.S.-led invasion of Iraq in 2003 and the Arab Spring uprisings significantly heightened tensions between Iran and Saudi Arabia. The removal of Saddam Hussein's regime in Iraq created a power vacuum, leading to increased Iranian influence in the region. In response, Saudi Arabia supported opposition groups in Syria and led a coalition against Iranian-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen. A critical low point occurred in January 2016, when Saudi Arabia executed prominent Shia cleric Sheikh Nimr al-Nimr. This action sparked widespread protests, including attacks on Saudi diplomatic missions in Iran. In response, Saudi Arabia severed diplomatic ties with Iran, marking a significant escalation in their rivalry. These events underscore the deep-seated sectarian and geopolitical tensions that have characterized Iran-Saudi relations in recent decades. In March 2023, a significant shift occurred in Middle Eastern geopolitics as Saudi Arabia and Iran agreed to restore diplomatic relations through Chinese mediation. The agreement included reopening embassies and initiating discussions on regional security, aimed at easing long-standing tensions between the two nations. This reconciliation aligns with broader cooperative efforts within the BRICS framework. In August 2023, both Saudi Arabia and Iran were invited to join BRICS, a bloc comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, reflecting their growing roles in global economic and political arenas. In October 2024, Iranian Navy Commander Rear Admiral Sharam Irani announced that Saudi Arabia had proposed joint naval exercises in the Red Sea. This initiative follows their recent collaboration in the Sea of Oman, where both nations participated in joint naval drills alongside other countries. Historically, Iran and Saudi Arabia have engaged in limited military cooperation. In 2018, they participated in the Coalition of Friendship exercise in the Indian Ocean, which included Oman and Pakistan. More recently, in October 2024, both countries took part in the IMEX 2024 naval drill in the northern Indian Ocean, alongside Russia, Oman, and other observer states. If the proposed Red Sea exercises materialize, they could enhance regional stability and signify a strategic shift in Saudi-Iranian relations. For Saudi Arabia, fostering ties with Iran while maintaining a cautious balance with Israel is essential to safeguard its economy and regional standing. For Iran, such cooperation demonstrates its military capabilities and its willingness to engage in broader regional diplomacy. Iran's naval strategy emphasizes asymmetric tactics to counter regional and western powers. Its maritime forces are divided between the regular Iranian Navy and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, Navy, with the latter specializing in operations within the Strait of Hormuz. Iran's naval capabilities include ballistic and cruise missiles, submarines, and drones. Notably, in August 2024, the IRGC Navy announced the addition of new cruise missiles equipped with highly explosive warheads, enhancing its offensive potential. Saudi Arabia's naval forces, on the other hand, 
are equipped with advanced Western technology and maintain dual fleets operating in both the Gulf and the Red Sea. The Kingdom's naval modernization efforts include the acquisition of Avant 2200 Corvettes, designed for surveillance and control operations and capable of hosting helicopters up to 10 tons. This modernization aligns with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 initiative, which aims to enhance defense self-reliance and reduce dependence on foreign military support. Iran's naval strategy focuses on leveraging its naval strength to deter U.S. forces and influence Persian Gulf maritime routes. This strategy includes partnerships with nations like Russia and emphasizes control over the Strait of Hormuz, a vital oil transit route. Iran's use of guerrilla naval tactics, such as swarm tactics with small boats, poses a significant challenge to traditional maritime powers within the Gulf's constrained geography. Saudi Arabia, deeply integrated with the Gulf Cooperation Council, maintains strong Western alliances, especially with the U.S. These partnerships enable Saudi Arabia to pursue a defense strategy centered on securing regional stability and countering Iranian influence. Recent diplomatic developments, including improving relations with Iran, suggest potential cooperation, such as joint naval exercises, which could foster new dynamics in the region's maritime security. Despite historical and ideological differences, Iran and Saudi Arabia, representing Shia and Sunni Islam respectively, share many commonalities as Muslim-majority nations with influential roles in the Middle East. Their shared interests and principles provide a strong foundation for fostering a political alliance that transcends sectarian divides. At their core, Iran and Saudi Arabia are deeply rooted in Islamic principles, guiding their domestic and international policies. Both nations view themselves as custodians of Islamic heritage, with Saudi Arabia as the home of Islam's holiest sites and Iran as a leader in Shia scholarship and practice. While they have historically competed for religious leadership in the Muslim world, they are united in their opposition to Western hegemony in the region and share a commitment to preserving the sovereignty and dignity of Muslim nations. Economically, both countries are oil giants and founding members of OPEC, sharing a vested interest in stabilizing global energy markets. Their ability to cooperate on oil production quotas, price stabilization, and energy security could bring significant benefits not only to themselves but also to the global economy. Furthermore, economic diversification efforts, such as Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 and Iran's ambitions to expand trade partnerships, align in their objectives to reduce dependency on oil revenue and create sustainable economic models. In recent years, both nations have also expressed interest in expanding economic cooperation within broader frameworks like the BRICS coalition, demonstrating mutual recognition of their potential for collaborative economic growth. Politically, Iran and Saudi Arabia share common concerns over regional stability, the threat of extremism, and external interference in Middle Eastern affairs. Both nations aim to reduce the influence of foreign powers in the region and strengthen their security infrastructure. The 2023 Chinese-mediated rapprochement highlighted a pragmatic willingness to prioritize regional security over historical animosities. Their recent efforts to initiate dialogue on critical regional issues, including naval security in the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf, underline the potential for cooperation by addressing mutual security concerns. By working together, Iran and Saudi Arabia can set an example of unity in resolving disputes through diplomacy rather than conflict. This collaborative approach could have far-reaching implications, not only for the Middle East but also for the broader global order. The emerging developments between Iran and Saudi Arabia, including the proposed joint naval exercises in the Red Sea, represent a significant shift in the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. This unexpected move, facilitated by the recent diplomatic breakthrough between the two nations, has the potential to reshape regional dynamics, foster stability, and challenge the traditional power structures. As the world closely watches the evolving relationship between these longtime rivals, the international community must be prepared to navigate the complexities and opportunities that may arise. The successful implementation of such military cooperation could pave the way for broader regional integration, economic collaboration, and a more stable security environment. However, the path ahead is not without challenges. 
deeply rooted historical grievances, sectarian divides, and the influence of external powers will continue to shape the course of Iran-Saudi relations. It will be crucial for both nations to maintain a delicate balance, prioritizing mutual interests over ideological differences, and demonstrating a genuine commitment to regional peace and prosperity. Ultimately, the implications of this potential Iran-Saudi military collaboration will be far-reaching, with the ability to redefine the geopolitical dynamics of the Middle East. As the world watches with anticipation, the quest for stability, security, and cohesion in a region long marred by conflict may finally be within reach. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.